Catherine Medici, also known as the Black Queen of France, was born in Florence, Italy, as the daughter of Lorenzo II de Medici, Duke of Urbino, and Madeleine de la Tour d'Auvergne. Catherine became Queen of France in 1533 by marrying King Henry II. Even though King Henry II showered favors on his chief mistress, Diane de Poitiers, Queen Catherine's marriage was fruitful. She had ten children, six boys, four girls, including Kings Francis II, Charles IX, and Henry III. Catherine became a widow in 1547, when her husband died from a lance wound during a tournament. Why she is called the Black Queen is because, after her husband, King Henry II of France, died in a jousting match in 1559. Catherine dressed in black instead of the traditional white outfits worn in mourning by French queens, and continued to wear black outfits for the rest of her life. After King Henry's death, she acted as regent for her son King Charles IX and managed the French court, during a period marked by political turmoil. As regent, Catherine faced an uprising by Protestants during which she attempted to convert them to Catholicism. In 1560, she was succeeded by her son Charles IX, who died from illness at age 23 in 1574. Catherine also played a part in arranging marriages for her children with other royal families, to make it safer for the countries to be at peace with each other and without any fighting over land. The Saint Bartholomew's Day Massacre, also known as the French Wars of Religion, occurred on 24 August 1572, after a plot to assassinate the Huguenot leader Admiral Gaspard de Coligny was discovered. The massacre took place throughout Paris, lasting until 25 August 1572. The French Wars of Religion were a series of religious wars in France, between Catholics and the Huguenots Protestants who were a minority group in France at that time. According to some historians, the assassination of Coligny had been planned by King Charles IX, who convinced his mother, Catherine de Medici, to support it with her blessing and encouragement. But Catherine would have preferred to use more time to pursue diplomatic avenues, such as a peace treaty that would end hostilities between Catholics and Protestants within France without violence. However, she ultimately agreed to it because she feared that a civil war in France could be disastrous for both sides if left unchecked, and believed that it would be better for her son to rule over a united France than a country torn apart by warring factions. While other historians believe that Catherine and her Catholic advisors were the principal culprits in the execution of the Huguenots' military leaders, by forcing a hesitant and weak will King Charles IX in massacring the Huguenots, which were French Calvinist Protestants. The wars ended with the Edict of Nantes issued under Henry of Navarre, which granted some rights to Protestants and allowed them to worship publicly. French culture benefited greatly from her contributions. She promoted the arts and architecture, brought Italian artists to France, introduced new cooking techniques, and advocated the use of forks instead of fingers. In addition to being a patron of the arts, Catherine introduced her people to tobacco, pasta, puff pastry, spinach, handkerchiefs, ladies' underwear, and cosmetics. 